Good evening everybody and welcome back on the Northern Lights live stream here in Utsuki. It's been a long time that we haven't been live here. I have been traveling, I've been quite busy but here we are again at the end of the season. If you want to drop me a message in the chat to confirm that you can hear and see me. We are not in the night time yet and the night time is getting shorter and shorter. Hi Karen. We have some clouds and some beautiful northern lights as well. And this is one of the last opportunities to do a live stream. I mean, we still have a couple of weeks of kind of darkness here in the far north, but very soon it's going to be very difficult to see anything and it's going to be really really late at night that we have dark enough sky it's uh, later than 10 right now and it's not even dark yet and the northern lights are dancing hi mario and desiree and judy and ingrid Sorry, Ingrid, good evening. Hope you're doing well. And Elton, hi, long time no see. And the Northern Lights are dancing with a little bit of pink as well. So that's always great to see. As always, we are here on the shore of the Tenno River and we are watching the Northern Lights live here in Utsuki in the far north of Finnish Lapland and Gis good evening to you um, I wasn't gonna do anything tonight but here is some clear sky the equipment has kind of let me down this winter it's been a struggle to get things work every time I try to live stream there was something wrong with something um, the setup that I'm using is a really nice one when you are working indoors in a studio environment but I don't think it's really great here outdoors and I've got a couple of uh, alternative solutions for next season but it's gonna be expensive and Margaret hello Carol, hi there. Hi Daniela. I am glad that you like it. I am glad to be back live. And I don't know how long with those clouds. We 
we have a little bit of green up there, but we have also a lot of clouds and we have the moon over there. But we have more green on the other side. So let's go. It's better here. Just above Norway, actually. So I'm on the Finnish side. And down the picture you can see the frozen snow-covered Tenno River and the hills on the other side are actually Norway already, so not even 200 meters from my location. Hi Christina, hope you're doing well. And Desiree, hi, hope you're doing well. We have had some amazing northern lights the past few nights. Uh, last Thursday was absolutely fantastic. It was the strongest geomagnetic storm in six years. So we had a really, really good show. Um, we didn't get any big bright fast explosions but we had a lot of colors we had very very long beams of northern lights all over the sky and of course green and red and purples and pinks and and a little, little bit of blue as well It's a shame for those clouds. But hey, that's how it is. And if you don't believe that we are alive, hi everybody, this is me here on the shore of Tenno River. The southern part of the sky is a little bit clearer. And let's see if this is just a cloud bank because it looks clear above the mountains towards the ocean. So maybe we get some clear sky coming from the north. have taken over the show but let's be patient that's how it goes with the northern lights is 
still there. And hoping that these clouds will pass and give us some clear sky again. So we are back in summertime since last night. And with the nights getting shorter and shorter here in the far north, we have to wait like now until after 10 p.m. for dark sky. And it's getting now very, very fast. Hi, Karen. Hope you're okay. So starting in the next couple of days, it's even going to be after 11 p.m. here that we get a dark sky so it will be 10 p.m. in like Paris and Amsterdam and Brussels nine p.m. in uh, London and it will be already late afternoon 4 p.m. on the east coast in the US So that's uh, probably going to be better for you guys in the US after work, but maybe a little bit late for Europeans. And it's gonna start being really late for me too. <laughs> and Christina is asking, what's the temperature? Um, I think right now, Uh, right now it's something around minus 10 degrees Celsius. And it's probably going to go down to minus 15 or even minus 20 if it gets clearer. And during the days when the sun is shining, we actually get uh, a lot warmer days it uh, goes up to minus five even minus three this afternoon and carol good luck hope you have a good rest of the day And those clouds don't look like they are moving much. And Teresa, yes, there is still snow. There is still even more snow coming. The snow is not going to start melting until later in April. I mean, of course, it changes every year, but usually it won't start melting before the second half of April, maybe, and we still have snow until May or even June.
yesterday we got about 10 centimeters fresh snow Bonsoir Bernadette, j'espère que vous allez bien Pas de café par ici, non, au milieu de nulle part Um, have I ever seen the Aurora reach KP9? Is asking Teresa. No. I think we had KP7 on Thursday on the big storm. And actually, those very high KP days or nights are not the best uh, for here they allow people further much further south to see the northern lights but for us it's uh, not always great news because very often the best part of the show is not visible because it's going to be under our southern horizon but on Thursday, with this epic uh, geomagnetic storm, we had all those amazing colors, as I said before. We had red and purple and pink and even a little bit of blue that I could capture. Um, all those colors are not uh, visible to the naked eye. You can see all the streaks, very long streaks, extending basically from the zenith to to the horizon in all directions it's like you're under a dome of of aurora and some streaks are brighter than the others but you don't really see the colors to the naked eye but on pictures it makes for absolutely amazing sights So we are looking at clouds here. And it doesn't really look like it's going to improve anytime soon. Just checking the Northern Lights activity. The solar wind data is currently not amazing. And Christina, yes, the KP was so high, that's why it was visible uh, in the US. It was visible quite far south, visible to the naked eye, but then it has even been photographed in places like South Carolina and Colorado, I think. So it was... Uh, Big, big display. And you can see the car at the bottom of the screen is actually driving on the Norwegian side. No worries, Teresa. Enjoy your new phone. You'll get used to it.
À Bernadette, oui, le café. <rire> C'est euh, le synonyme de pourboire ici. Et pour les francophones, les nuages n'ont pas l'air de vouloir coopérer ce soir. J'avais bon espoir quand j'ai commencé ce direct, mais malheureusement, ça se couvre de plus en plus, donc je pense qu'on va arrêter ça pour l'instant et peut-être euh, revenir plus tard. Donc n'hésitez pas à vous abonner et à déclencher les notifications pour être les premiers avertis quand je reviens en direct. The clouds are really not cooperating, so I think that we are going to stop this. Bonsoir cousine. Sorry, my cousin is on the stream as well. Uh, we're going to either stop or pause this as always. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit those notification bells um, so you'll be first to know if I come back live. I am for sure going to try to do another live with a proper show before the end of the season. We have got another Mm, I think until maybe 6th or 7th of April we can have a decent uh, live stream. So let's hope that we get one more chance before the end of the season or later tonight, who knows. So thank you all for joining again. Thank you so much Andy. I had the best birthday with those Northern Lights on Thursday. And by the way, I have put a picture of the Uchoki Church on sale on the Buy Me A Coffee uh, link. If you head there, you can see the picture. It's going to be a super limited edition of 20 copies, signed copies, and at a very attractive price. So head there to buymeacoffee.com slash REZ photography to see the picture and order it if you're interested. And of course, it always supports me. So thank you for those who are interested. I'm going to stop this live stream for now. And I hope to see you later tonight or in a very, very few days. So enjoy the end of your weekend. Thank you for following and see you on the next one.